Partnership for a Drug-Free America Probably the most infamous company that made public service announcements many throughout the 80s and 90s, but they stopped making PSA sometime in the 2000s. But today I'm going to dive into their history and the lasting image that people have had on the company over time. But before I do that, make sure to like the video if you enjoy the video, and make sure to subscribe if you enjoy my content. Also, make sure to support my Patreon if you want some exclusive benefits such as your name at the end of my videos, and even early access to new videos. Anyways, let's get into the video. So, Partnership for a Drug-Free America was formed after the association called the American Association of Advertising came forward with the idea to try to get kids off of drugs. After that, they ended up forming the company in 1985. With the company being formed, the American Association of Advertising funded $300,000 into the campaign to pay for rent, salaries, and other business expenses. Also, a lot of people think that Partnership for a Drug-Free America was a part of the Just Say No campaign that the Reagan administration was running throughout the 80s, but no, it's a completely separate thing. With the formation of the company, that leads us to the PSAs themselves. I think a lot of people know at this point that the first Partnership for a Drug-Free America PSA was This Is Your Brain on Drugs. The PSA released in 1987 and garnered a lot of attention for itself because of the simplicity and with that came a lot of parodies and a lot of people making fun of the PSA. I would honestly be here all day if I pointed out all the different shows and movies that parodied this PSA but I'll quickly mention a few of them. Freddy's Dead The Final Nightmare has Johnny Depp imitating the PSA on a TV screen as Freddy whacks him with the frying pan. SNL made a skit where they add bacon into the frying pan as well. Breaking Bad has the character Jesse Pinkman quoting the PSA when cooking eggs in a frying pan. And the show The Goldbergs has the character Beverly referencing the PSA whilst making breakfast. To be completely honest, this PSA is one of the most iconic PSAs of all time because it was just implanted into everyone's heads that saw this PSA. Also, TV Guide even put this PSA in the top 100 ads of all time, which, in my opinion, I don't agree with at all. After the success of the company's first PSA, it showed the company that they could create a lot more PSAs to try and get the message across to viewers that drugs are bad. Throughout the 80s, the company was going very strong with other memorable PSAs like The Drug Rap, When I Grow Up, I Learned It By Watching You, Hot Surgeon, Snake, and many others. The company was still running strong in the 90s as well, with the company making PSA after PSA, with the most notable being Cleaning Girl, and there's another version of This Is Your Brain On Drugs, but with the actor Rachel Lee Cook, destroying a kitchen instead. I'm Always Chasing Rainbows, Straight Up, Everybody's Doing It, Drowning, and many others. More PSAs were actually made in the 90s compared to the 80s because Partnership for a Drug-Free America obviously had a lot more years to create more PSAs in the 90s since the company only started in 1987, but also they were just pumping these things out constantly in the 90s. But around this time, it was starting to get more obvious that some of their PSAs weren't really effective and studies were even made to show that more pre-teens and teens were deciding to smoke marijuana and it showed that the use of the drug actually doubled in that age demographic. There aren't any other studies about how it affected other drugs like heroin and cocaine, but I imagine it didn't really do it favours. But as the company was getting into the 2000s, it seemed like that the end was near for the company making PSAs. The company did actually start making PSAs in the early 2000s, but it seemed to have stopped around 2005 to 2006. The company has actually gone through quite a few name changes after their PSAs have stopped, and now the company is known as Partnership to End Addiction. The lasting impact of the company overall hasn't been great. As I mentioned earlier, PSAs like This Is Your Brain on Drugs get mocked and parodied in media even today. With the result of the campaign actually making more preteens and teens smoke marijuana, it really just shows that other things besides this company got drug use numbers down. It's actually kind of funny because after this company stopped making PSAs, drug use numbers actually started to go down. But one thing that I'll be honest about is I never realized how many PSAs this company made. There's a video from Hello I'm a Pizza that's almost 6 hours long of just a massive compilation of almost every partnership for a drug free America PSA. It's actually insane. Some of the company's PSAs are actually remembered fondly, but some aren't remembered for the right reasons, and I can honestly see why. Looking back at the company, they're very mixed in how they deliver their messages to the viewer, and very mixed with their execution. That's what I'd honestly expect, because they just made so many PSAs. But it honestly still confuses me to this day how the company just stopped making PSAs out of the blue and hasn't come back since. 
With that though, the company is still one of the most memorable companies out there that made PSAs because a lot of them got into people's heads and were memorable. Also, thankfully the company is still around to try and get people off of drugs. Anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you enjoyed my content. I would absolutely love to get to 5,000 subs by the end of the month, but if not by the end of the month, then it'd be awesome to reach that goal by the end of the year. Anyways, onto the Patreon shoutouts. Massive thanks to Madeline Stringer and Diamond Pony for supporting my $2 pirate tier. Massive thanks to Juliet Wakefield for supporting my $5 pusher tier. And lastly, massive thanks to Sam M1994 for supporting my $10 Pee Wee Herman tier. If you want to find out how you can get your name in my videos, make sure to click the little Patreon logo on the screen at the moment or the Patreon link in the description and you can get your name in the end of my videos or you can even get early access to new videos. Anyways, I'll see you on the next one.